you're up to now, right? We talked about a, a little bit about where you've come from and what you've been doing. Um, what are you currently doing? What kind of projects are you working on? What passions do you have? Yeah, um, it's crazy right now. So uh, I'm the outreach coordinator for Goodwill of the Olympics and Rainier Region's um, Military and Veteran Services Program. And we've also full, folded in um, some different dynamics. Um, we used to be known by Operation Good Jobs, which mm-hmm. was really heavy, driven by the Walmart Foundation, yeah, which yeah. they've done amazing work with sure. us. Um, you know, and, and helping people when it comes to transitioning service members and veterans of any era, any component, yeah. um, step into the employment realm and, and really get that value and that understanding. It's been it's been a journey. Yeah. And so that's what I've been doing for like the last two years is really emphasizing and focusing on where we can really um, bridge the gap in certain things to give people maximum opportunities. Um, and then it came with some other side projects. So I started about two years ago, I was doing um, what we would consider career navigation. Yeah. That's sitting down with individuals and family members and talking about what your destiny is, what your plan. And it could be anything. Right. I mean, you could go into the trades, you could go into executive management, you could become an entrepreneur. Yeah. My job is to understand a lot of key factors and use formulas into why do you want to do that? You know, and is it something that... Um, you're going to want to continue. And this, this, is this your true passion? Does it make sense for you right now? Right. Um, because with us and what's organic and unique about the position I'm in now with our program is we don't take credit at employment. Yeah. We don't take credit when, you know, that job offer comes through. I mean, we're ecstatic. We'll right. celebrate with you. Right. But we have a 12 month retention model. Yeah. And with that 12 month retention model, it's that constant check in of, you know, what's next because our clients are hungry. Right. They get the job. Now they want the promotion. They get the promotion. Right. Then they want to start the business. Yeah. And that's the place that, you know, I want our clientele to be in. You know, I really want them to focus on, you know, just because you obtain a goal, it's time to set another goal. Right. And oh, if you don't huge. achieve that goal, then you need to continue working on that goal or reanalyze what that goal is. Helping people figure out the why is is huge. That's massive, and and specifically with employment resources that I've seen in the past, and I I feel and I've spoken about this on veteran resources specifically, like across the board. So many of them are they're created like infrastructurally. They're meant to just be that slice of the pie, mm-hmm. right? This organization deals with employment. This one housing. This one schooling. This one um, spouse support or this one emergency services. You know whatever it might be. They fill their slice of the pie, and once it's satisfied, that's it, right? Hey, if you need anything else, come back and holler at us, right? Met, and, metrics and, and purpose, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And so I, I like that mentality, that that ideology of, hey, we're going to set goals. We're going to figure out long-term, short-term. But once we've achieved something, yeah. it's not done, right? Yeah. That's a huge thing. So I, I love that. And we've taken program. it off to another level, too, because our program is also open to military spouses. Oh, nice. And so – and then the real caveat to the whole thing is it's also open to dependence of working age. Wow. So you have, you see a lot of shift in, in the veteran employment space yeah. where, you know, there was a lot in the past of tailoring specifically to the post 9-11 yeah, veteran. Yeah, right, right. Um, but now it's opened up to where you could change, you know, the impact on a veteran and they'll take that over to their house or wherever right. they're at and, and it'll, it'll show. Yeah. But you can make a much larger impact if if you affect that whole family. It's huge. So we've taken situations, for instance, where, you know, there's a transitioning service member or, you know what, actually go back. There's a better one where there was a Desert Storm veteran who had gotten, um, you know, released from the Army, had had done his thing and was hugely successful and then was slammed in the side with everybody else with, you know, the economy crash and layoffs. Yep. Um, from there was able to recover, but was never hitting that value that yeah. they should, yeah. um, where we were able to help them. And then their spouse was working. We were able to get their spouse set up for a promotion internally. We weren't even asking their spouse to leave the organization, just grow within it. Yeah. And we supported that. Um, and then there's, there's their children, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old yep. that are coming out of the, the school system and we're priming them with their resumes now we're priming them with targeting industry now yeah. and what we're seeing i think at least i'm seeing is we're connecting these dots now where we're able to fold in the practicality along with what they have going on which is allowing them to develop that vision of where they're going to take it off to the next level yeah. and you're developing that path so when they get out they're further ahead than we were with their peers because oh, yeah. they understand it they're not waiting until they're graduated or or separated or retired from the military to figure out how they're actually going to achieve their goal or what they're going to do when they grow up. Yeah. Essentially, like we joke yeah, around, right. <laughs> they already have an idea. And I think that's important. That's huge. No, that's huge. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this week's episode. We hope you really enjoyed it. 
If you love the people and stories of the Puget Sound, please support this podcast by reviewing us and rating us on Apple Podcasts. Stay tuned next week as we continue to curate the underground.